हेलो एंड वेलकम माय नेम इज भास्कर नापते आई एम फ्रॉम फार्मा ग्रोथ हब एंड इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ क्रोमेटोग्राफिक कंडीशन अकॉर्डिंग टू यूएसपी जनरल चैप्टर 621 दैट इज क्रोमेटोग्राफी सो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द एडजस्टमेंट इन लिक्विड क्रोमेटोग्राफी इन आइसोक्रेटिक इल्यूशन and very specifically about the mobile phase parameters so let us begin with the discussion and here is the guidance provided by the general chapter 621 when it comes to adjustment in a mobile phase so the adjustment in composition of the mobile phase will be the first point the second point will be the adjustment in ph of the aqueous component of the mobile phase and the third component will be adjustment in concentration of salts in the buffer component of a mobile phase let us start our discussion with the first point that is adjustment in composition of the mobile phase so according to usp general chapter 621 the minor components of the mobile phase can be adjusted by plus or minus 30% relative to its original composition the second important point is the change in any component cannot exceed plus or minus 10% absolute of its composition now let us talk about the examples and i will first discuss about the binary composition or the binary mixture and i am going to explain you how the mobile phase composition can be changed in case of binary mixture and here is the example number 1 in front of you let us assume that you have a mobile phase with water ethanol 80 20 so what is the minor component a uh, minor solvent in this case the minor solvent is the ethanol because it consists of the 20 part of the mobile phase so the question here is how much will be allowed adjustment to ethanol contained let us calculate it now according to the usp general chapter 621 the plus or minus 30% relative Com, uh, volume can be changed so first calculate the 30 percentage of the 20 part of the ethanol and it will become the 6 right so it becomes 6 percent now identify which one is lower whether 30 percent relative to the content of ethanol is lower or whether the 10 percent absolute content of ethanol is lower and look here the 20% now sorry the 30 percentage of the relative of ethanol is 6% so which one is lower relative is lower or the absolute 10% so it is the relative content of ethanol or i can say that the 30% relative content of ethanol is lower as compared to its absolute 10% so that you know as the 30 percentage of ethanol relative content is lower than the its absolute 10% we need to use the 6% uh, uh to change the composition of the mobile phase now when we are going to make 6% change in the ethanol content you need to also adjust the 100% right and the first component can be used to give a total of 100% now with this change the mobile phase composition can be water ethanol 86 to 14 now why 6 14 because the original content of ethanol is 20 but with minus 10% of the uh, 
I'm so sorry. I think this needs to be replaced by what? Minus 30% relative. Minus 30% relative change of ethanol. And similarly here also, let me make the change plus 30% relative change of ethanol. Thank you so much. So the mobile phase composition with minus 30% relative change in ethanol is water ethanol in the ratio of 86 as to 14. Now why this 14? Because the original content of ethanol is 20 and the minus 30% becomes the 6%. So 20 minus 6 becomes 14. Now as I am de decreasing the content of ethanol by 6%, I need to compensate this loss by increasing the content of water by 6%. So the original content of water is 80% look at here the 80 percent the plus six percent to it make it 86 so 86 as to 14 is the probable adjustment possible with minus 30 percent relative change into a minor component similarly let us calculate the possible mobile phase composition with plus 30 percent relative change and that is water as to ethanol 74 as to 26. The original content of ethanol is 20. As I am calculating the composition with plus 30 change of the minor component, I need to add 6 percent to the quantity of the minor component which is ethanol. So 20 plus 6 become 26. As the content of ethanol got increased by 6%, I need to reduce the content of water by 6% to give a total of 100%. So the original content of water is 80%. 80 minus 6 becomes 74. And that is the reason the new proposed composition of the mobile phase can be water as to ethanol 74 as to 26. Now this is for the binary mixture. I will also explain the uh, another example for the binary composition. Now in this case let us assume that the mobile phase consists of water 60 and ethanol 40. Absolutely minor solvent is ethanol and you need to calculate the allowable change into the quantity of the ethanol. So calculate 30 percentage of 40. The 40 is coming from the 40 uh, from the ethanol which is a minor minor compo, uh, component right. So 30 percentage of 40 becomes 12. The second is what identify whether 30 percent relative or 10 percent absolute is lower. And absolutely you will find that the now in this case the 30% uh, of ethanol which is actually a 12% and hence it is more than the absolute 10. So we need to use the lower one. So I cannot go with the 12% change but I can only go with the 10% change in the content of ethanol and I am going to use the first component to give a total of 100 percent. So here is the allowable first composition of the mobile phase water ethanol 70 as to 30 with minus 10 percent absolute change. Minus 10 percent why? Because 30 percent change is more than the 10 percent absolute change. So earlier quantity of ethanol as per the original monograph method is actually 40. Minus 10 becomes 40 minus 10 30. So 30 comes over here. The quantity of water as per the original method is actually a 60. But as I have decreased the quantity of ethanol by 10, I need to increase the quantity of water by 10. So 60 plus 10 becomes 70. 
and that is the reason of 70s to 30 the another mobile phase with the plus 10 percent absolute change the composition of mobile phase can be water as to ethanol 50 as to 50. let us now talk about the ternary mixture and here is the example of a mobile phase the mobile phase consists of three component one component is 70 second component is 25 and third component is 5 adding together you will get the 100 <clears> percent <throat> now calculate 30 percent variation for the second component and uh, separately you need to also calculate the allowable variation for the third component so first i am going to explain you the allowable variation in the second component and for understanding it we need to calculate 30 percentage variation for the second component so the 25 is the amount of second component and the 30 percentage of 25 becomes 7.5 now identify whether the 30 percent relative is lower than 10 percent it's absolutely low 7.5 right 30 percentage relative of the second component is 7.5 which is lower than 10 percent and hence i can only make a change of 7.5 percent into the second component right the so second component can be changed by only 7.5 percent use uh, first component to give a total of 100 percent and now here are the possible allowable mobile phases the first mobile phase with minus 30 percent relative change in the second component 77.5 17.5 as to 5 now why the 17.5 has come my original quantity of the second component is 25 25 minus 7.5 right relative 30 so 25 minus 7.5 becomes 17.5 17.5 and as i have decreased the quantity of second component by 7.5 percent i need to increase the quantity of first compound by 7.5 percent so the original quantity of first compound is how much 70 right so 70 plus 7.5 becomes 77.5 i have not changed the quantity of third component similarly i can also understand the mobile phase composition with plus 30 percent relative change in the second component which is 62.5 as to 32.5 as to 5 so 32.5 why because i need to add 7.5 to the original quantity of the second component and the 7.5 coming from where the 7.5 percent is nothing but the 30 percentage of the relative of my second compound so the 30 uh, 25 plus 7.5 becomes 32.5 now as i added 7.5 into a second component i need to also decrease the 7.5 from the first component the original quantity of the first component is 70 so 70 minus 7.5 going to become 62.5 i haven't changed the quantity of the third component let us talk about the example number two where i am going to now change the third component so calculate the 30 percent variation for the third component which is five percent in the given example so the 30 percent of the 5 becomes 1.5 now identify which one is lower and absolutely the 30 percentage of this third compound is 1.5 percent which is much lower than the 10 percent so i am going to use the 30 percent variation use first component uh, to give a total of 100 percent and these are the allowable variation so mobile phase composition now 71.5 as to 25 as to 3.5 with minus 30 percent relative change of the third component the 30 percentage of the third component is 1.5 so 5 is the original quantity 5 minus 1.5 becomes 3.5 as the 1.5 quantity is reduced from the third component i need to increase 
the 1.5% quantity for the first component which becomes 70 plus 1.5 equal to 71.5. This is the first mobile phase composition. The second possible mobile phase composition with plus 30% relative change of the third component. 68.5 as to 25 as to 6.5. I have added 1.5. So 5 is the original quantity of the third component and then 5 plus 1.5 becomes 6.5. I haven't changed the composition of the second component. As the quantity of third component got increased by 1.5, to balance it out, I need to decrease the quantity of first component by 1.5. The original quantity of first component is 70. So 70 minus 1.5 becomes 68.5. And this is the way I understand now the allowable variation in case of the ternary mixture. The next point is adjustment in the pH of the aqueous component of the mobile phase. And you are free to make an adjustment with the unit of plus or minus 0.2 so for example if the pH of your mobile phase is 5.4 you are free to make the pH change from 5.2 to 5.6 the next point is adjustment in concentration of salts in the buffer component of a mobile phase you can make an adjustment of plus or minus 10 percent let us understand with the example. Let us say you have a buffer which consists of potassium, dihydrogen, orthophosphate and weight of the salt is 20 gram. So calculate the 10 percentage of this 20 gram and you will find it is 2 gram. So plus or minus 2 gram can be the allowable variation that make it 18 gram to 22 gram. So these are the important points when it comes to the adjustment in mobile phase parameters. So in case if you are interested to receive such kind of very interesting and useful content onto a WhatsApp, you are free to join the Pharma Growth WhatsApp group. So how to join the Pharma Growth WhatsApp group? There is a link given in the description. Click onto the link and you will automatically redirect it towards the Pharma Growth Hub. Thank you so much.